You're watching UNICEF Television. It's a week since the flooding became severe in eastern Sri Lanka, and many routes remain barely passable. We're travelling along the main road to a more remote village, by boat. These families have returned after six days in shelter on higher ground. Many have suffered a great deal after years of conflict and the 2004 tsunami. Now, these floods. They're finding out for the first time what has happened to their homes. The children help to draw water from a contaminated well and boil it for drinking. Dry firewood is hard to come by. We have lost all our household belongings like mats, bed sheets and cooking utensils. It's been raining continuously and it's very cold. My house and fields are completely destroyed. What will my family and I do in the future? These Sri Lankan doctors are reaching more remote communities by the only means possible. They bring with them a large trunk of medicines. More than a thousand have sought refuge here, a UNICEF-funded school built after the tsunami. Running their mobile clinic, the doctors report finding a rising number of cases of respiratory illnesses and diarrhea. UNICEF is keeping a close watch on the nutritional levels of children. Prevalence of malnutrition is very high in Sri Lanka, especially in the Batikolo, the prevalence is very high even before flood. The malnutrition among children under five years is worrying. So after this flood, I think it may increase. UNICEF Sri Lanka has already responded to the needs of some homeless families. These tanks hold a thousand litres each of safe drinking water. Sleeping mats alleviate the discomfort of those living in schools. Emergency hygiene packs are handed out. Toilets have been built on raised podiums and utensils distributed for communities to cook their meals. But the rain keeps falling. 4,000 were living in this school when the floods peaked. 11 families are living in this classroom. They say they cannot return home as their homes remain flooded and they've lost all belongings. At least they're receiving one cooked meal a day. Washing is improvised. Drying is nigh on impossible. Life is far from normal. The schools were supposed to reopen today. The teachers arrived for work, but there were no pupils. The water levels may have receded after more than two weeks of heavy rain, but the challenge for these aid workers may only have begun to support a massive clean-up and repair operation. This is Mervyn Fletcher reporting for UNICEF Television. For more information, go to unicef.org. Unite for Children.